10 details you missed in Frozen 2. With its record-breaking box office gross and global earnings of $1.450 billion, Frozen 2 is the 10th highest grossing animated movie of all time. As a work of art, it displays the depth of Disney's animation talents. An energetic and at times mournful score has been provided by the writers. Frozen 2 has a more complicated plot than the first film, but it still has some profound messages about love, acceptance, and the significance of one's history to one's present. Making a movie isn't always an interesting process. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we will talk about 10 details you probably missed in the movie. But before we go any further, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to never miss any updates. Number 10. Anna might have deja vu. The fight between the warriors of Arendelle and the Northuldra is finally related to King Runar. He gave them the dam to cut off their water supply and weaken their strength, not as a gift. Runard's loyalty to Northuldra is revealed by hitting their leader in the head. Elsa and Anna are frightened when they hear this. Well, it makes sense, especially for Anna, since Runard attacking the Northuldra while unknowing is alarmingly similar to Hans and Elsa in the first film. Number 9. Anna and Elsa's First Dresses as a result of the movie's climax, Anna and Elsa are forced to part for the benefit of the nation, as predicted with the first costumes for the film. Foreshadowing her future role as queen, Anna's clothing features distinctive Arendelle iconography, which she adorns. While Elsa does wear a necklace with a snowflake design as an homage to her job as defender of the land, and even though Arendelle's signs are prevalent throughout the film, Elsa does not do so. She does not wear an Arendelle sign. Number 8. Let It Go, Written in One Day Here it is important to note that the addictive music in the film is a big part of what makes it so entertaining. The lovely song in Summer by Olaf, Let It Go, is the most popular song in the world. Let It Go is a song that Elsa famously sings when she realizes she no longer has to keep her magical abilities hidden and simply wants to be free. Snowmen and an ice palace are built by her during the movie's performance. Furthermore, the most well-known song from Frozen was written in less than a day. Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez, a husband and wife duo from Brooklyn, completed the demo in a single day after taking a walk in Prospect Park. They became so charmed with the music that they began dancing on picnic tables and chanting it loudly in celebration of Elsa's newly discovered freedom. Anna's duet with Prince Hans, Love is an Open Door, makes the first time a Disney princess has collaborated with a villain. Number 7. Anna makes a possible reference to another character Early on in the film, when they are both singing Some Things Never Alter, Anna had to go ahead and change the trolley tracks so that Olaf does not be wounded while they are singing the song together. To accomplish this so, she uses a massive lever to reroute Olaf's small trolley. That sequence may have brought to mind a scene from Kristen Bell's other film, The Good Place, but if you're a lover, according to which line a trolley travel down, it will either strike one person or five construction workers in an episode of A Good Place entitled The Trolley Problem. Number 6. Anna Recognizes Matthias The Arendelle Troops commander Matthias meets Anna and Elsa in the magical woodland. Anna appears to have a good idea of who Matthias is. He had been imprisoned for so long, how could it be possible? If you saw the first movie, you'll recall that Anna spent a lot of time wandering around her house alone. She sat in front of the television and listened to music. That Anna might know someone she had previously seen in a painting is a brilliant play on her familiarity with the history of Arendelle. Number 5. Prediction Comes True Grand Pabby advises Anna to keep a watch on Elsa before she departs to discover the truth about the magical woodland. After years of hoping that Elsa's powers would not be too much for her, he now has to hope that she can rescue them all. It's easy to forget what he stated early in the movie, since everything turns out well in the end. The frightening warning he gave truly comes true. In her desire to discover the truth about her magical powers, Elsa went too far and was temporarily frozen to death. To rescue herself, she required Anna's aid since she was too impulsive and her magic wasn't strong enough. Number 4. Anna and Elsa are now hugely popular baby names. As a result of this, many parents are having a difficult time naming their girls after the two Disney Frozen princesses 
because of their children's developing obsession with the animated blockbuster. As a result of the success of the film, the names Elsa and Anna have risen in popularity among parents throughout the globe. The popularity of the name Anna has risen since the release of the animated film Frozen. As far as names go, we can't think of two better people to name your girls after. They're more complex and sophisticated than some of the older Disney princesses, and that's a good thing. Number 3. Josh Gad Improvised His Lines Frozen 2's Olaf is a fan favorite. Olaf's cheeky humor and complete lack of awareness of what happens to snowmen in the summer helped him emerge as the film's much-needed comic relief. Did you know Gad improvised most of his lines in the movie? This is him goofing around Robin Williams style. Gad did this to make the producers laugh, but most of his ad-libs made it into the movie. Not only that, but during Olaf's infamous performance of In Summer, there is a cool crossover with Mary Poppins. Olaf is doing Bert's penguin dance with his hat and cane. Number 2. Elsa's Ice Palace is based on a real hotel Planned and carried out, the Ice Palace was a lengthy undertaking. However, the hotel's design staff was able to get a trip to Canada to get some inspiration for Elsa's incredible mountainside ice home. A trip to a unique ice hotel in Quebec, called the Hotel de Glace, helped set the groundwork for Elsa's castle, which was based on this place. Business owners were not going to let this opportunity pass them by, either. Their frozen suite has a Disney-style bed suitable for a princess, replete with themed decorations from the movie. Number 1. Elsa's death may have killed the snow geese. During the show yourself scene, Elsa is frozen to death, and Olaf tragically starts to dissolve with Anna within the cave. Elsa's magic is bound to Olaf's life energy. Elsa's magic was tied to the snow geese and marshmallow in the first Frozen. Thus, they were also murdered by the tethering. The return of Olaf did not happen until Elsa had recreated him. They are most likely dead, unless she wants to return to the North Mountain in the future. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it! Let me know in the comments below if I forgot to include a detail that viewers might have missed while watching Frozen 2. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. I'll see you there! Take care and stay tuned.